So was it they were acting upon Intel saying there would be mobile operated bombs and that is why mobile services need to be suspended. I mean obviously people were saying well you got suicide bombers, how are you not going to be able to stop them? So we have been talking about this mobile operated bomb systems for a long time. It's not been overnight, okay. You knew it very well, okay. Wherever the shopping centers are, they're always at a risk being public. There's so much of interaction, so security cannot be implemented at any of these places. They do not have the capacity, they don't invest the shopping centers and all that. But the government would always guide them to have certain amount of jammers of certain strength installed in the market itself. So that's the alternate. Yeah, if that, that is the threat, but first of all, uh, now it's been, like I said, from 1995 I've been writing about these things, okay? And it's been 17 years. Right? In 17 years you couldn't do it. What are you trying to do? Something overnight? It's, it's, it's really not believable, all right? And my, my proposals on these things were, I, I was not really, the beauty of CDLC and my role was, we just did not uh, criticize or negate issues. We gave solutions also. When these phones were prepaid, how come everybody who got a phone was known, his address was known, because the mobile companies had to recover a certain amount of bill for them, right? So they would not issue a mobile phone to somebody whose address was not verifiable and he would be using the phone without anybody, all right? Similarly, a SIM does not have to be given across the country, all right? Pakistan is not the only place where terrorism is taken. After 9-11, did the U.S. government shut down the mobiles for even a day, for even an hour? No, they did not. Sri Lanka has been fighting a war on terrorists for years. The British had used this mobile, deciphering the mobile technology and the calls to their advantage in preempting terrorism. The beauty of this technology is that you can preempt a hit, which you otherwise could not if you had not penetrated the gang. But do we not have the capacity? Do we not have now the Now that's the, uh, that's the answer. The government has to move and spend their yeah. ramps. Yeah. Okay? So if somebody comes to buy a mobile phone, is it that urgent that he needs to use it that very minute? No. His SIM should be bought and sent at the address of the ID card or his gas bill or his electric bill. Not bought at the pound dollars. Not across and by courier service. The very next day, at the time of the convenience, the customers are paying for it. And just like the credit cards, how come the credit cards don't fall in wrong hands? They are also a, a money lending machine. Okay? And the, they are sent by courier service, a verification is done, a call is made from a landline, and then the cards are activated. So the systems are there, they're easy to do it. Unfortunately, we compromise on our systems every now and then for some VIP culture or for some extra reasons. So we have knee-jerk reactions, right, to everything. There are no processes in place. Um, now, what tell us a little what kind of process would preempt something? Well, for one, uh, as you have said, that um, you know we can. The technology is available, and when the need is there, and those agencies and authorities do monitor and have the capability of doing that, you know, tracking out, and that's what they are. And like we said, the reason um, the terrorists or the so-called alleged terrorists, whoever they are, are using this form of communication is because it's so widespread and easily accessible as well. And they can rely, it's reliable services right up to the northern areas. You can talk, you know, in the fields of, uh, I don't know, where, wherever you want in Pakistan. And that's been the you know, growth of the industry. Um, with that has come its difficulties as well, uh, both for the operator side as well, for registering. Having worked with an operator in the past as well, I know those difficulties in reaching out for registrations and stuff. And we know, and I have actually worked with Jimmy Saab as well on providing data when required for the authorities as well through proper channels. So this is available again, so that's why this was more a major reaction last minute thing. Registration on a daily basis can be done in bigger cities, but it's still not being done for various reasons. And one of the biggest examples as well, uh, you know, that the operators will counter is that, look, we need, we are here to do business. We are here to sell. If the state cannot, and that was always the call from the operators, 
It's the state's responsibility to ensure that whatever is being provided is genuine. It's not the authority responsibility of the you know, person selling the packages. Like it's a commodity. Uh, so if the state is has and there are a lot of lax uh, ID cards and fake ID cards available, etc. Where is that coming? Previously, yes, this was a big problem in the early parts of uh, 90s because you had the old cards, the CNIC cards. I mean, you had NICs. Now you have CNICs, which are growing in capacity. They were so the number of people uh, holding uh, fake ID cards has obviously dropped. They should make it easier. Makes it easier to register. But then, if you speak to an operator and they say, "Hey, hang on a sec. If we go to an area where we have a large some population and we need to sell SIMs, these SIMs are used by people who are under 18 as well. They need to get their father's ID card. Then you have these restrictions on numbers of, you know, 10 per ID card. Now they're talking about maybe one per ID card." The operator counters that and says, hey, you know, our bulk of the uses under 18 who do not have identity cards. Uh, so there is always that, and that's an operator's view of uh, things as well. To them, rightly so, they are not responsible for ensuring you know, the government does its job. Uh, on the government's part, again, put the processes in place, say it is there, make it available. Uh, as Jamie Stop said, you know, rightly so, we can reach out. But can we reach to the furthest point? Uh, even the best courier service in the country at this stage cannot reach every single area, while the networks are now covering every single area. So the question is again, is the government spread too thin? Do they not have the capacity to be able to um, you know, wage all these battles with all these different fronts? And is our blackouts the only option at the moment? Or we can think about other measures? No, no, checking out one. Why? No other country has resorted to this. Why did we have to resort to one? I have gone to India, okay, one, there is no, uh, you you cannot use your mobile phone in India, okay, because they are not allowed, right, very, very well understood, okay, but when you go to India, you get out of the airport and you ask to apply for a SIM at the airport, you give your passport copy, all right, and yet they take 48 hours to open your office in the same. Why? So the process of verification. So the process of verification has to be put in place, whether it is northern areas or wherever it is. We are not bothered about the business. We are about bothered about the security in this country. Okay, if the northern area people are the one more involved in all these bomb blasts, okay, if they don't have mobile phone, we don't care. Okay, because they even use landlines which are not identifiable. The interesting part is this: you've got wireless phones, you've got landlines where it's no man's land. The mobile phones are working, the landlines are working, and calls by kidnappers are made from those lines. Nobody is apprehended. It's not really the mobile. Okay. Is the whole technology which is being misused, right? And there is no concerted effort being taken to prevent this at a macro level. Okay? So you've got to put place systems in place. Let me tell you, even that day, okay, it was too late when we made the announcement, and moreover, you know, all the ATMs, okay, people were out for evening night, okay. They were not sitting and listening to news and shows and all that one. Children were out. I'm running a satellite banking traffic company. And the number of calls we got yeah. of the anxiety of the parents to find out where the cars are, and the cars could be tracked because oh, they are yeah. innocent. Yeah. Yeah. And we couldn't track them. Okay. So the parents were worried. Yeah. Yeah. Children, where they are? Are they safe? Has some incident taken place? God forbid. If some incident had taken yeah. place, not by a sin, how would the ambulance service would have responded? Exactly. People have stopped using landlines for heaven's sake. Yes. Try to understand that. Landlines are expensive, uh, an expensive hobby. If you just want, why should you pay a monthly charge? You pay how much you use, and that's it. Okay. All tr tracking companies are running with, with the SMS system, all right? Then you have all security systems, burner alarm systems, banks, all on this. Everyone you know. Know. It could next now. Let me tell you, if this happens again, it's going to be a field day for the criminals. Because obviously they are going to be ready, ready now. <laughs> they are going to be ready yes. for any announcement by the government to do yeah. this. We lost a couple of cars in that night, which we couldn't track, giving the criminals enough time to disable the system. All right, which is very unfortunate. We couldn't do anything. About or a terrorist who may want to plant yeah. a bomb in a car. We tried to move a lot of the sims on a different system. GPR is something like other. The government is not does not even did not even allow our sims are non-talking sims. They are just in the car. Okay, they can't talk. They can't do anything. They installed with the system in the car. 
They have a list. They didn't even allow the functioning of those. We requested the PTHM and we brought him online. But you see, when you do such uh, ad hoc systems, the stakeholders' input is not there. You cannot evolve a good, clean system. If you want to do it again, yes, please go ahead. But I think all the stakeholders, all the pros and cons, need to be studied, brought on table, and then some action should be taken on that. But it can't be unilateral coming. It cannot. From like the all prepaid, if you are scared of postpaid, then prepaid. SIMs could have been active, could have been left because the data is there. All non talking SIMs of banks, ATMs, vehicles, they all could be functioning. So, you really now need to uh, get your things in order before the, the Bakla Eid coming in. Okay. There's another Eid coming up ahead, all right? So, and it's not, and you know, just to add on that, you, it's not something that they can't have or they don't have. If you see major convoys of VVIPs, they have these vehicles with these big gadgets on top of certain jeeps. Even this today, if you saw the Prime Minister's convoy, uh, this one, what are those gadgets? Those are exactly those. They're jammers, they're frequency jammers. Yeah. So as they're driving by, they're jamming. So the government, when it wants, it can. And that's where you really have to say, ask them, you know, extend that further. Don't uh, just. Yeah. No, but that's exactly my meaning. If you want to do anything, let's plan a car. Let's see what is to be done. We're all, we all patriotic. I know the government wants to do it for our safety. All right. And that's but, the key. But the whole thing is that. All right. So there's a lack of strategy. Yeah. Right? There's and always a lack of strategy. Yeah. It's yeah, never planned out. It's just, and then last minute decisions are made. When, if it, it, it was upon you, or yeah. uh, you know. And at times, I think, uh, you know, sometimes it feels that. They may, they have good intentions, but they may not even really understand how big a scope this is. Just shutting down mobile networks. Yes, the financial impact to the operators is one, and you don't even begin to discuss that when it's people's lives at stake. Yeah. But simultaneously, it exposed so many other people uh, as a subset, you know, the tracking devices, the banks, the point of sales, your ATM card, uh, your credit card machines, they also are reliable, are reliant on GSM. Etc. So this is a big industry that is now using a SIM for much more than just talking, and you're just shutting down, you know, large-scale operations. The most convenient argument made is for the larger good public good, right? And it's about saving lives versus well, uh, doing business. Again, they spoke but about the safety of the people at Eid Namaz. The congregations at Jumat al Wida was much, much larger than Eid. If the terrorists wanted to do it, they would have hit at that time because they have hit Juma Namaz all over the years. Yes. All right, they have hit children. Okay, so they have no compassion. They will choose a soft target and they will hit. They don't have any specific date or time. Their target is the maximum. One such bomb can kill how many? 50, 100, 200. That's it. Okay, so uh, I, I don't think so, but. Training the public throughout the year on checking unidentified packages. Now you want to use, you say, this mobile technology in blowing off packages, okay? So they run off of su suicide bombers, I presume, okay? So the suicide bombers are finished for once, all right? So we go to the next phase, okay? So packages, the packages, the people should be trained. The shopping centers are now enough well guarded where a package cannot be infiltrated, mostly, all right? It seems that way. But that type of training by the government, systems in place, inspections by the police, trying to bring in dummy things into the thing, making people alert. I think making people alert and the citizens more conscious is a much better effort in combating such type of yes. Citizens can, can be more vigilant. Yeah, that one is very important. There's awareness that's critical. And, and even in, if you just look at the implementation that time, uh, people rely on communication and tickers, news tickers, and then breaking news yeah. syndrome. Uh, but if there was a concerted effort, they had done this, whether it was six hours earlier or ten hours later, you could still have a way of communicating with every user by asking the operator to send out a message 